while cleaning out my desk drawer the other day, I came upon this little slip of paper that I had scribbled some notes on who knows how long ago under the heading of Bible coins. You know how every coin has a heads and a tails, opposite sides of the same coin. Well, in the Bible, there are several doctrines that we wrestle with, which appear to be contradictory, but are rather two sides of the same coin. For example, predestination on the one side, free will on the other side, not contradictory, two sides of the same coin. God's sovereignty, our responsibility. God knows everything, and yet he commands us to pray. One God, three persons. God is a benevolent, all-powerful God, and yet there's the presence of evil in the world. You get the idea. Bible coins. Good for a future study sometime. Malachi offers us another Bible coin. It's one that the prophets have dealt with before. On the head's side, he tells us right from the start, chapter 1, verse 2, I have loved you, says the Lord. Well, surely by now we have come to know and experience the love of God. By this we know the love of God, that he sent his only son into the world. Malachi expresses it this way in 3, 16 and 17. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord gave attention to it and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who esteem his name. They will be mine, says the Lord of hosts on the day that I prepare my own possession, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. I have loved you. But then the tales side seems to be just the opposite. The last word in the book of Malachi, in fact, the last word in the Old Testament, is curse so that I will not come and smite the land with a curse. And so the book ends. Chapter 1, verse 10. Oh, that there were one among you who would just shut the gates of the temple, that, I might, that you might not uselessly kindle fire on my altar. I am not pleased with you, says the Lord of hosts, nor will I accept an offering from you. Two sides of the same coin. The God who loves us so much that he came to die for us, loves us so much that he will not tolerate or accept sin in us. He will not allow us to poison ourselves. He will purify his people, even if he has to become angry and harsh to do it. And even if that purification causes much pain and sorrow and discomfort, the healing, the wholeness, is worth the pain. But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in his wings, and you will go forth and skip about like calves from the stall. Go out today and do some skipping.